Is Cloudflare R2 the cheapest and easiest storage service available? Today we're going to find out, so don't forget to like and comment on this video and to subscribe to the channel as we have a lot more of these explainers coming your way. Storage is used in many areas of web development, from storing images to serving a whole website. It is one of the foundations of the web. So when Cloudflare released their storage service in beta last year, I was quick to go and check it out. Let's explore this offering a little bit. The good news is that R2 is dirt cheap. The free tier will give you 10 gigs for free with 1 million write and 10 million read operations. And you won't have to pay much more beyond that as even anything above your free tier is really cheap. The best part is that you don't pay fees on the amount of data going out, which is exactly where S3 starts to get expensive when you have a lot of data. Another great part about Cloudflare R2 is that it is compatible with the S3 API. While they could have opted for a simplified API to help you get started faster, having the full S3 API compatibility is a good thing. This lets you migrate faster and there is a ton of documentation on S3. Meaning you won't have to learn anything new to get started, especially if you have already worked with S3 in the past, which a lot of people have. Creating a bucket is really easy. Head over to the Cloudflare dashboard and simply create one under the R2 tab. Keep in mind that just like in S3, every bucket has to have a unique global name. And now comes the easy part. Uploading or using the bucket is exactly the same as S3. From any Node.js environment, you can install the AWS SDK package with NPM. You can install this anywhere where Node is used because you need a standard library. So anything like a serverless function or a long running server is gonna work, but not a edge function. Once you have installed the package, you can pass your R2 environment variables directly to the S3 package, and you end up with a fully functioning client without any differences. I'm leaving a link below in the description to show you how you can grab your own environment variables from the dashboard. With this done, you can now call directly your bucket to do anything like list the number of files you have in there, upload a file, or download files locally. One of my favorite features is using pre-signed URLs. Imagine you are in a serverless environment and you want to upload a big file. Using that, you can generate a pre-signed put URL, pass that URL to the front end, and it will be valid for exactly one upload. This is super useful because you can keep your bucket secured from the public eye, but you can let your users upload their own files from their own browser without having to pay the compute time yourself. So to recap, Cloudflare R2 is a great service. It's cheap, it supports the full S3 API, it's really a no frill storage option that covers most of your needs. It does not try to reinvent the wheel, and that's a good thing, because it gives it to you even cheaper. Let me know in the comments if you have any other favorite storage services you would like me to explore. And have a great day!